if you know me and you've been following my channel for a while, then you know that math is probably my favorite homeschool subject to review. But I realized that I've never covered the study.com math program in detail. So whether you're a homeschool family looking for a complete online math curriculum or a parent who's looking for something to supplement their child's current math curriculum, study.com could be a great option for you, even if you're looking for college level math courses. So let's get into our detailed review of the study.com online math program. So there are a lot of math courses on study.com. And unlike some other online math programs that I've reviewed on my channel, if you get a membership to study.com, then you get access to all of the math courses. So you don't have to pick just one. They have everything from math lessons for kids to help improve their grades in school to complete math courses for homeschoolers. They even have college level math courses and courses that you can take to earn college credits. So there is definitely a lot to choose from. There are actually 324 different math courses on study.com. You can go to the study.com website and take a look at all the course offerings without having to sign up. You can filter by grade level, subject, and goals. Once you find one you like, you can click on it to learn more. You'll see a course overview, a syllabus outlining the topics that will be covered in the course, and a list of the tests that will be given. You can also scroll down and see all the lessons that are included. Once you find a course you want to take, you just click start this course and it will be added to your course listing so you can track your progress. You can take a practice test to check your knowledge in the course before you begin. And some courses will even let you test out of material that you already know so you can complete the course faster. The math lessons on study.com are all short and to the point and designed to be completed in one sitting. So your child won't be sitting through a 45 minute lecture video like some other online math programs have. I really like that the videos on study.com focus on one topic at a time. I think breaking things down into these bite-sized chunks is a good way to help kids not feel overwhelmed when they're learning new math concepts. And it gives them a chance for it to sink in before they move on to the next topic. In addition to the video lesson, You'll also have a text lesson that you can read through to really reinforce the concept that you just learned. There will also be a lesson transcript that you can print and a worksheet. And once you think you understand that topic, you can take a quiz at the end of each lesson. You can also take notes over here if you need to, and those will be saved to your student dashboard. And if you're really stuck on a particular lesson, you can use the help feature to send a question to the experts and receive a response within a few hours. There are several different membership options on study.com. If you just want to be able to have access to all the lessons, but you don't need the practice problems and tests, then you can get the basic membership for just $29.99 a month. So you can view all the videos for all the courses on study.com with this plan. If you want to be able to do all the quizzes and tests and also keep track of your progress, then you'll want to go with the premium edition, which is $59.99 a month. And if you want to be able to take courses to earn college credits, then you'll want the College Saver plan, which is $235 a month. No matter which plan you choose, you can save 25% off your first month with my link, which I left for you in the video description below. You can also save some money by purchasing an annual subscription up front. And they also have a 30 day money back guarantee. So if you try this out and you don't end up liking it, you can request a refund within the first 30 days. So now let me show you the student dashboard and how that would look. And then we'll talk a little bit more about how you can use this as your full math curriculum for homeschool. And we'll also talk a little bit about how you can earn college credits on study.com. So here is the student dashboard. Up top here, you'll see your recent activity. So this is a good way to get back to where you left off, especially if you were looking at a course but forgot to click on start course. Down below here are all the courses you're currently taking and you can see your progress through the courses and click on next lesson to continue in the course. You'll also have goals over here 
which will be based on the dates you set when you started the course. And down here, you can send a question to the experts. You can see each of these sections in more detail by clicking over here on the left. You can edit your goals if you need to here and review the notes you've taken here. And here is where any custom courses you've created would show up or you can create one here as well. Okay, so that's what the student dashboard looks like. Now I just wanna talk a little bit more about the courses, especially if you happen to be looking at this as a full math curriculum for homeschool. So we'll go back to the screen where you can view the courses. We'll click on math here, and then I'm gonna go down here and click on homeschool, and then core homeschool curriculum. So you can see here they start in third grade, and then it goes through eighth grade math. So each of these courses represents a full year math course. But what about high school? Well, for some reason, these aren't grouped under homeschool, but if you just uncheck that and then check high school, you will find all the courses you need for high school. They have algebra one and two, high school geometry, trigonometry, and calculus. And if you're looking for a course for the younger kids, this math for kids course would be a good option. You can also find courses designed specifically for kids to study for exams like the ACT and SAT. They also have AP Calculus and Statistics study guides and exam prep courses. Okay, so the last thing I just wanna talk about here is their college level math courses. So if you have a homeschool, high school student who wants to get a head start on college, they do have a bunch of courses on study.com that you can take to earn transferable college credits. You just need to make sure that the college or university that your child is planning to attend will accept the credits. There are a bunch of partner schools that will automatically accept the credits and you can search for your school on study.com to make sure. But even if your school isn't on this list, you can still check with them and see if they would accept the credits. Because if they do, you can definitely save a lot of money. The college level courses are just like the other courses that I showed you, but the difference is that once you complete the course, you will take a proctored exam. You can take up to two of these exams per month and you get to do them from the comfort of your own home. So that is really cool. If you don't want to take the exams to earn the college credits, but you still want to take these courses so you can sort of get a head start on upper level math, you can still take the courses and you don't need to have the college saver plan. You just won't be able to earn any college credits for them. And don't forget, just because this video was focused on math, if you get a membership to study.com, then you have access to all of the courses. So you may find that you wanna use it for language arts or history or science, whatever course that you wanna take. If you have any questions on the study.com program, whether it's about their math courses or just a general question for me, let me know in the comments and I will be happy to answer. And don't forget to use my link in the video description below to save 25% off your first month of study.com. Thank you so much for watching.